Student Council member of the 25th District, and he's going to talk about the Student Safety Act and how it affects his district community. Um, it's Daniel Drum from the 25th District. Daniel Drum, not to be confused with Drum, but let's hear it for Drum, which is in my own district. And has been doing fantastic work. Thank you, Council Member Robert Jackson, for all that you've done, and to the, American, to the New York Civil Liberties Union and Donna Lieberman for all that you've done on this as well. Uh, I was a New York City public school teacher. As a matter of fact, a year ago, I would have been sitting in a boring staff development, professional development, <laughs> meeting at this time, pulling out my hair after 25 years, having people tell me what to teach and how to do it and micromanage my classroom. But that's a whole other issue, I'll leave it for another time. What we're here to talk about today is to talk about the Student Safety Act, and I have a personal story to convey to you as well. When I was a New York City public school teacher, I tried to walk into one of the annexes to my school, PS 199. And I was stopped by a very rude and very forceful school safety agent who began to curse me out because I didn't actually see him standing there and he demanded that I give him identification. Now I'm fine with giving him identification and I'm fine with letting him know who I was. I was a teacher in this school and a U of T chapter leader in that school. But the way in which he went about it and the way in which he confronted me is unacceptable in our public schools. Because what we've done is we've gotten too far away from, from remembering that we are teaching our youth and our children in the public schools and our children of color are disproportionately affected by what goes on in the New York City public schools because of these school safety agents. So we're out here today to demand the passage of the School Safety Act to make sure that we have transparency, accountability, and that there's a way for people to file a formal complaint against those types of abuses in the New York City public school system. Today I have the honor, however, of introducing one of my constituents who lives in Jackson Heights and somebody who's already lobbied me on a couple of occasions in my office, and that's Praz Baruha. Praz, come on up. Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Woo! 